what this video is about is the power available to an organization, and in fact to an entire system, when good people are happy to work together to build healthier communities. You see this hospital, Kempville District Hospital, saw that as a small organization they had the potential to help solve a big problem. So they partnered with one of the largest teaching hospitals in Canada and began performing total joint replacement surgeries. There was a uh, feeling of happiness in the building. Uh, lots, of, uh, lots of people knew something different was happening. There was a, a sense of anticipation there that you don't normally get. Uh, a different kind of patient was coming and people were excited about that. People realized that day that it was worth it and we actually did do what we said we were going to do and we're a different organization now. I think it has increased uh, everybody's confidence and uh, we know that we're able to do this, we know that we're successful with this, uh, we know that as a team we work well together and we've done very good work for all of our joint replacement patients. It was um, October 17th and we just completed our first joint replacement um, surgery and there was a smile on everyone's face. We were over the moon that uh, a small hospital like us had uh, pulled off what some people might think was the impossible. Uh, we had regional program status and we had uh, done joint replacement surgery. Together we had opened inpatient rooms that had been closed years earlier. That day uh, to me defines success. I was fortunate enough to go in and observe the very first surgery so it was kind of neat for me because I started over in the pre-op unit, met the patients, then I got to go witness her operation. I'm so excited for this program and I hope it continues to grow. Uh, you know, we're putting our whole heart and soul into it. One of the very first patients that we had on day one is a patient by the name of Renee and she writes, I'll never forget the staff at Kempville Hospital. They were genuinely eager to help every one of them. I had my other knee done at another larger hospital in the city and my experience at Kempville Hospital was completely different. I've been recommending Kempville District Hospital to anyone who asks where I had my knee done. The waiting time in other, for, at other hospitals to be able to have your, your knees done is quite lengthy. So it's a lot of the patients here were very happy to be able to uh, have their knees replaced within such a short notice and be able to have uh, their knees done, have the pain taken away and be able to start on the road to recovery. So it was nice to be a part of that. The enthusiasm and the team effort um, really matched anything I've seen in my 10 years as a project management professional. And I think that the results of the, of the project will help move Campville Hospital forward and open up new possibilities. Uh, for us in the future. Our first patient who came through the TJR was a vegan who we had to all of a sudden um, find food for because Kempville is typically kind of a meat and potatoes type of community so we went out, I went out and purchased um, vegetarian food for her and as a result that lady wrote a very nice letter in the in the Ottawa Citizen. It's a great benefit for Kempville and it's a great benefit for the hospital. I see growth in, in KDH. It's a progressive community in that they, everybody wants it to grow. The TJR is one step in that process. It certainly um, made it, put us on the map. Um, people are starting to talk about Chemville. We started planning the program six months before, which isn't a lot of time to, to design a whole new program. So it was pretty intensive during the summer. We started on time and it was really in incredible that we got it all done and our first patient came through with no problems at all, so we are really happy with that. There was a ton of work done by a lot of people and uh, a lot of obstacles that need to be cleared and it's nice to know that we were able to work together and get that done. And I think uh, the knee program will be huge, a job well done. One of our mandates as a board is to make sure that we push forward integration measures. Um, and this is an example of integration that works properly where you get more out of the system without it costing more to the system. As we find uh, opportunities uh, to partner with hospitals to make that integration happen and this joint replacement program is a partnership with the Ottawa Hospital, a very big player in the healthcare field here cooperating with us, a small player. There were many preparations 
uh, I'm in building services, which includes housekeeping and maintenance. It was quite exciting getting prepared for the total joint replacement program to begin for all of us. So far, it's been nothing but positive. It seems busier, but it seems this, that, I guess, is the good thing about it. It's kept its small town atmosphere, even though we're doing really big things now. For Community Care Access Centre, uh, we do set up of services in the home. The really great thing with the knee program is that um, there are people that are very excited to have the surgery done, some of them waiting a long time, and they're so thankful to have the surgery done and then to have those services at home. We've had such good feedback. They just rave about how wonderful the staff has been and how they feel so well looked after and they don't want to go back to the city for any other surgeries. They want to come back here. The whole atmosphere of the hospital has changed. It's just become so positive. People are talking, people are are, everybody's got to know each other more because all the groups have come together to work as a team to get this together. I've been involved with building the OR programs from day one here at Kenfall Hospital. So um, we've watched many minor programs develop. Uh, so then it evolved into the Total Joint Program, which was an amazing step for us because um, the initial steps, it was much more hospital involvement, whole hospital involvement for the planning. It wasn't just two people taking on the challenge of setting up a minor program, it was the whole hospital. Right from the get-go, it was our program to build and partner with Ottawa Hospital to teach us how to grow through it. The Ottawa Hospital does a, a large number of total joint replacements, hips and knees. Um, and the hospital has been faced with some very difficult challenges around high occupancy and overcrowding. Uh, and um, on one occasion, uh, uh, I was in conversation with Colin, good fellow, and uh, he suggested that uh, Kempville was looking at uh, increasing their orthopedic uh, services in the in the area and wondered whether we had a need for orthopedic services. And after a couple of conversations, it, it was apparent that uh, Ottawa Hospital needed um, some extra capacity. Uh, Kempville had the extra capacity. Um, we brought together the, the leadership and they just actually worked miracles and moved mountains. It really truly puts the orthopedic patient at the center of the decision. So the quality of care that the, uh, the patients are receiving is second to none and the patient experience is really, uh, really the ultimate experience. What's really um, unique about Kempville is that we took the idea, agreed upon who was going to lead it, worked together and made it happen. And surprisingly, uh, it's always been out there as a good idea, but making it happen has, is the real success story here.